Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Oh, it's so slow. Enter the Gungeon. Slow motion runs in the Gungeon. I have a... Well, first of all, I gotta get up here and turn this thing on. I wanna go fast, please. Um, I got a new item unlocked, in theory. After my, my friend Chris helped me to, to do the cultist's past, I believe I should now have access to number two in the game's item pool. You know what? Let's just do this. So in theory, we should have a chance of picking that item up at any point in time. And uh, from my understanding, number two is actually like an amazingly powerful item. So if we could grab it, I'll be, be very happy to see it. Um, apparently it's an A tier item that gives you like a 40% damage bonus, I've been missing out. <laughs> By not having the Cultist Pass completed in Farewell to Arms, I've been missing out on that item. And I would like to point out, I have done the Cultist Pass on the save file before, but I think I did it before Fa Farewell to Arms, so it didn't count. Like, it didn't actually give me the unlock because it was introduced in Farewell to Arms. Because I've done the pass before, but it was in a, um, in the pre-Farewell to Arms playlist, probably AG and D if I, had to, if I had to guess. So in theory, we should be good now, though. And in theory, the, uh, <laughs> the bitrate is gonna look better for you than it did for uh, Chris when we were playing this in co-op, because apparently the Steam remote play, it works! It doesn't look pretty, but it works. I don't know, I don't even know how this is gonna look for everyone on Twitch when they've got the highest quality version except for me. I'm looking at the actual screen here, and it's all still a little bit like, oh, <laughs> flame textures, how could you? But anyways, I'm excited to play a little bit of Gungeon. What's our item? Table tech money. Well, we should definitely be flipping some tables, but I didn't really see anything that would really warrant me uh, flipping tables to begin with. All right, and I didn't see it. Sorry, what I meant to say was I didn't see anything that would indicate what my freaking active item is to begin with. Later. Roll bombs. Well, it's not literally the most useless item in the game, but it's not too far off. Silly Abe, it's a 41% damage upgrade, not a 40% damage upgrade. So, I, I, I remember that reading that from the, uh, the game's wiki. Why is it 41%? I'm trying to think. Like, isn't, hold on. Isn't the square root of two 1.414? So is it like, because it's, it's in, uh, co-op, but there's only one of you instead of two of you, that it's a joke and it's 41% as a, a, a play on the square root of two? Is, is that why it's 41% or is it actually 40% and whoever put that into the, uh, hey, I'm immune to fire. I'm, I don't think I'm actually immune to fire. I think, I think the game just kind of bugged out there a little bit. Should flip some tables anyways. Is it just whoever put that up on the wiki just decided to have some fun with it. I don't know. You're thinking too much into it, Abe. Or everything in this game is a reference to something else. I am not overthinking it. This is the one game where you gotta think about everything because there's gonna be a hidden reason behind everything. Movement speed increases by two. That's one of those weird, um, like, values. What What is two? <laughs> Is my normal movement speed one? How does a movement speed of three compare to a movement speed of one? Is it three times as fast or is it, you know, X percent fast due to some weird ratio and calculations or something? I don't know. The meaning of life is 42. Too true. Uh, let's go fight the boss here. And it's, it's Trigger Twins, so I'm actually kind of happy to see the uh, fossilized gun here. Believe it or not, this is a, a pretty good gun for uh, countering these guys. It's not, you're not gonna, what, hit me! It's not gonna perfectly counter them. I, I don't even care about that one anymore. I'm just gonna look for a secret room. It's not gonna perfectly counteract these guys, but uh, it is gonna do a good job of ensuring that they are always on fire, always taking damage. I really don't know what hit me. And for some reason, I'm still immune to fire, so I'm just gonna stand in here. Yeah, I don't know what hit me. I, I just kinda, kinda thought I got around the bullet. Why am I still, like, immune to fire? I don't know. 
Mind cutter, good gun. Is it like I picked up a roll bomb? Did roll bomb make me immune to fire, by the way? See, now, now I gotta test it. It's like, okay, hold on, let's see. Okay. okay. No, it's not this. Do I have like a synergy with something? Um, nope, no synergies. All right, so I, I think the game is just bugging out, honestly. I think it's, it, I should be on fire, but I'm not. Thank you, Gungeon. You're doing great work. <laughs> We'll buy the key. Uh, we'll also buy the, oh man, Abyssal Tentacle can be a lot of fun. You know what? Out of all these, I think I'll take the Tentacle Gun. I'm not expecting anything super uh, insanely good out of Tentacle Gun, but what I am expecting is uh, some tentacle action. Some hot tentacle action. And that I can get behind. Ooh, I will also take full ammo. So let's go down to the, uh, to the oubliette here and see what we what we got. No! Oh my god, hold on. Not this time, talking button. I accidentally selected you. Hey Chris, how's it going? Without me to keep you safe, you get hit. That, that's all you get out of that, just a Alright, we are not gonna be using tentacle gun. We have, we have uh, gotten ourselves the bad tentacle synergy. And by that I mean uh, our tentacle gun does like next to no damage. So we're just gonna chill out on tentacle gun. Also we can light on fire, let's be careful. <laughs> Sometimes tentacle gun is like 10 out of 10 OP, does a lot of damage. Sometimes I just don't understand why it doesn't do anything. We're in the middle here, because I don't understand why uh, it's not doing damage. I don't understand why we're I don't understand why we're we're lighting ourselves on fire. Gungeon is just a big mystery right now, I suppose. Burn! So Chris, does uh, does this look better than uh, fossilized gun when you were trying to <laughs> when we were playing multiplayer the other day? Uh, I'm, I'm curious how pixelated it look it looks compared to your screen. I know you sent me the screenshots, but I already forgot what it looked like. Oh, it looked pretty good. It's almost like you should upgrade your computer or something. You can't handle the uh, the particle effects of Gungeon anymore. How many rainbow chests have you broken? says Jackman. I have broken one, and it was a brown hidden rainbow chest. I even remember, it was a chest that dropped as a result of the Fusilier fight, and once I, uh, I, I did the fight, a chest dropped, it was a brown chest, I didn't have a key, or I didn't want to open it, I wanted junk or something like that, so I, I broke it, and it was, um, it was a rainbow chest. I feel, I feel bad about that, I feel salty. Cause I'm faulty and I, I broke my chest. <laughs> Stop lighting on fire. I need fire immunity like ASAP. That would be fantastic. I cried. Yeah, it's probably like. <laughs> What's that meme song where it was like, I, rem I remember from specifically from uh, SNL where people shoot each other with the gun and it's like, what you say, whoa. <laughs> something, something like that, right? Hey, stop trying to hit me. Stop trying to hit me. What you say. Let's open up some chests, why don't we? We got three keys. I don't see any uh, other shopkeeper here, so we'll go and pick up the mutation, and we'll pick up one HP container. <laughs> Who said I didn't flawless the last boss? I have four HP. Let's go fight you. I'll use Void Core here because big target. We don't need to use our best gun for this. And fossilized gun doesn't even do anything against uh, Blobby Lord. I kind of like. And this is probably going against something I've said in the past, but I kind of like how 
some bosses are weak and strong against some weapons. I just wish that weapons could still do something. Like, I don't even think Fossilized Gun could ever light this guy on fire, except I know it sometimes happens weirdly, depending on how he's moving and how the, like, the creep underneath him creates or doesn't uh, get rid of the, the Molotov oils. I don't know. I think it works with the Molotov, but not with the fossilized gun. I don't know, it's weird, I don't know. <laughs> TLDR. Oh, you dick. Got him with the bomb, though. Song is Hide and Seek by Imogen Heap. You know, I'll trust you on that one. <laughs> what you say? Uh, let's go find our little secret room here. Although I don't know where it is. We're just gonna blank in a random room. Let's check the left side of the top of this area. It's not there. Is it not gonna be right here? Nope, it's not there. Um, let's just blank in this room because I just don't want to look forever right now. Dun, 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 dun. I will grab the old crest though. I hate that it causes a key, but it is what it is. You, you learn to live with it, you learn to accept it. Dun, 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 okay. We could try Abyssal Tentacle again, but I don't know. Do we need like a rate of fire bonus? Do we need like a damage bonus to really make that work? I mean, this would be a great opportunity for number two. Number two and then damage upgrade the uh, Abyssal Tentacle. That sounds good to me. This is not a very good use case situation for the Tentacle. <laughs> Trying to kill a very big tanky unit, but you know what? Whatever. And you know what? I'll, I'll frickin' I'll eat you. Uh, this is not good. Oh god! <laughs> what a dodge! What a dodge! Hold on, I gotta leave this room. I can't leave this room! Run! Actually, don't run. Oh god! Uh, hey, Philemon Bacchus, hello! Welcome, thank you for the seven months sub. Hope we see more Slay Aspire and FTL, wink wink, nudge nudge. I mean, FTL... Really, that's just whenever I'm in the mood for it, which is not recently, because I did 100% that game, spent like 300 hours playing it for YouTube, and, you know, played a, a bunch of episodes on Twitch. I'm a little FTL'd out. Slay the Spire? I mean, I've been having a lot of fun with Monster Train, and I want to play a little bit more Monster Train as opposed to Slay the Spire for the time being, but also Slay the Spire, the only thing left to do in that game is Watcher Ascension, like 18, 19, and 20, which uh, we'll have to do at some point, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in any rush, you know? Let the heart grow fonder, or whatever the phrase is. Let's, um, let's let the game kind of just simmer and percolate in our minds for a little bit, and we'll come back to it when it's, when we're all good and ready. You know, when we've all matured a little bit, then we'll come back to it. Why not some bomber crew instead of FTL? Why not some uh, Dead Space 3 co-op with, with Chris? How about that? What was it, challenge mode? It was challenge mode, okay. Don't blink. Well, I, I hate to say it, but this seems pretty easy. I'm just gonna chill out here and no, uh, challenge complete, all right, yeah. I bet you that was real fun for you to watch, huh? Orange Guanstone. Hot Rock! You know what game I wanna play at some point? Lethal Lead. I never played the uh, the new one. And by new one, I mean new as of like a year ago. <sighs> also, I don't really know what Bomber Crew is. Is it like Bomberman? Is it like Bomberman, but made by an indie developer, but they couldn't call it Bomberman, or else they'd get sued? <clears throat> I got. I was looking at the uh, the Steam sale list the other day, and I actually saw in my recommendations Jump King. 
So I actually watched the trailer for that game and I, now I understand what it is. It, it is kind of just like a uh, getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Not rip off, not clone, just like another take on that genre. And it does its own thing. At least I understand it now. Um, please, 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 yes! Did anyone get anything good off of the uh, Steam sale? I have a few things in my cart right now, and I'm probably gonna pick up uh, a couple of games. Like, I wanna pick up Red Out. It's like seven bucks, and it's a pretty nice racing game. You know what's also a pretty nice racing game? If anyone's ever played it, Blur is pretty sweet. It's like Mario Kart, but with real cars. Maybe not like real cars, like, there's no Bugatti in this one. It's not a real car. Well, no, it's like video game cars, but it, it has a very nice graphical effect on everything. You, can, you know, everything looks real. Um, so yeah, I kind of want to want to get read out. There's another one I wanted to pick up. Dead Space 3 is pretty cheap. I never played through Dead Space 3. Um, when it came out, I was basically of the opinion of this. It looks like this kind of sucks. This isn't really the design of of uh, you know the original Dead Space that I enjoyed. Focused way way too heavy on co-op. You know, not really horror esque. Ellie has uh, massive uh, assets. Let's say. It's like the people who designed that game did not design the other Dead Spaces. You can be fairly sure of that fact. <laughs> Sonic Generations is a dollar, so it's a steal. Dude, I have never played a Sonic game. Yeah, never. Never played one. Never. Jump King is from the days of Congaree before it was a proper game. That explains why it is like, Jump King and the quest for the busty babe. It's like, okay, you know, I understand that the game mechanics might be kind of interesting, but they gotta work on their marketing, okay? I'm not 12. <laughs> um, ooh, no synergy, oh, such a shame. I love this gun, but we're gonna get some synergies for it. Uh, are we good? I think we're good. I don't want to sell anything. Well, saying that, I actually do want to sell a couple of things, but we'll, we'll actually keep all the guns that we have right now. Everything we have is pretty decent. Pretty good. Have not found the secret room. Have found the secret room. You know, we do have uh, several Guan Stones. Let's keep this Guan Stone train trucking. Jack Sturb says, have you played Hollow Knight? I don't know if he's talking to me or someone else in chat, but I have flipped Hollow Knight. Game Jockey says, remember to flip tables. Yes. Yes, Dad, I will. I will flip my tables. I have to flip my tables before I eat my supper. I generally flip a lot of tables. I just never remember to always flip tables with the uh, table tech money. Because I don't like that it flips all the tables and I forget that it gives you like two cents per table. Well, it's, it's probably more like two cents per two tables or something like that. I don't know. No rat. Ah, I didn't have the money for it. I, I should say I had the money and then I bought things. So then I didn't have the money. But also, I don't think I need to do the rat on this one. I just want a, a nice, relaxing old king fight, you know? Just a nice, relaxing fight against the most difficult, one of the most difficult bosses in the game. Easy, easy peasy. Ooh. I'll take it. Am I immune to fire? Nope. <laughs> I always have to ask because I don't understand what actually makes you immune to fire sometimes. Also, I completely forgot that those tables were flipped. I always forget that. Um, five to eight casings per room. Yeah, but a lot of rooms don't even have the uh, the appropriate tables, so some rooms only have like one tables. 
Okay, so we did get like nine credits from this room. That was pretty good. <laughs> Four tables giving you nine credits. So that's a that's a payout of two and uh, two and a quarter per table. It's actually pretty good. I'm gonna not flip tables in this room and we'll calculate the winnings when we get a little bit further on here. Were you jammed? No, you're not jammed. You're jammed though. Okay. 86. 99. So that, that was 13 credits for one room. You know, maybe I, I don't give Table Tech money enough credit. <laughs> Get it, credit. Because that was um that was a pretty decent amount of cash. So we're at hundred. We got two. That's not a crazy amount of cash, but it, you know, gets us further. I can appreciate that. What? I did not switch to the gun I wanted to switch to. I got a little bit confused and scared. Oh, you're dead. Don't even gotta worry about you, my son. You I gotta worry about, you're jammed. Wink, 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 wink. Check the box says, surprisingly I had the most fun with Dark Souls 2 for a brief window during the initial release, being hunted by blue phantoms the whole game because I murdered the Belfry NPC by mistake real early, yeah. Also, you can't possibly be the chosen one. Ah! That was a pretty good moment too. Mancha. You know what? If I'm unhappy with my uh, current Abyssal Tentacle, what if we just re-roll it? No. The bombs will break the table. I gotta flip them before that happens. Although, you know what? There's a negative. Uh, if we do get table tech blank, we won't be able to go to these rooms and flip the tables looking for secret rooms because they've all already been flipped. Maybe we should be uh, doubling back and uh, flipping the tables after we've uh, already completed the floor. Pfft. That'll take way too long. That takes way too much effort. Oh. Yeah, I probably told this story before, but my friend Chris uh, in Dark Souls 1 uh, learned the lesson that if you die while attempting to pick up the Lord Vessel, the main NPC that like progresses you and directs you through the story says you are an idiot and leaves and never comes back. This is real great. Table tech money, table tech blank, gold amulets, pretty good burst damage. Well, yeah, that's the dream anyways. I would love to find the, uh, the blank salesman dude and say, hey, do you have a table tech blank for me? I would like table tech blank. Hey, do you have a table tech blank, brother? Brother. Duckinator says, I like how you just casually go here and I've won this level once with clone. <laughs> I uh, have done this level probably more than anyone else alive. I would, I would hazard a guess that that is entirely possible. I don't know any specific statistics. Maybe, uh, maybe I could ask the Gungeon devs, who has the most hours ever in this game. Excluding people who just kind of like leave it on and then forget about it. Forget about it. But uh, I do have a lot of hours in this game and I do go to the uh, to the Abbey like every run. I'm willing to say I, I have, uh, you know, developed strategies for the uh, for the old king here that helped me deal with him pretty easily. Although I still get hit by a lot of his attacks, as evidenced by the last run. Two runs ago, one of those. Excuse me. Uh, I got hit there, but I was trying to use a blank. What? Oh God. 
All right, Table Tech Time Slow Motion is not really helping me out here all that much. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, it made those bullets kind of just hang in air for so long. Table Tech Time! It's not Table Tech Time, it's Blue Guanstone, Guanstone of Time. One of those. You know what? Eat it. Should never go into that doorway. I've been, I've been, on this fight, I've been, I've been experimenting with that, going into the doorway, trying to use it as a, a, a dodging mechanism. I think that's bad. Don't do that. Just dodge forehead. Plasma beam? It's actually not even any synergy. Why can't you crawl? Oh, it's probably just like, you get a damage bonus or something. Eh, hooray! <laughs> Boo. Boo. Excuse me? Um, probably bombs, huh? Oh. Excuse me? <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that's not a synergy with this. This is a synergy with Roll Bomb and I-Bomb Companion Amp, AI Assistant. They just kind of bounce around and then you blow them up. Pfft, oh, beats me, beats me. They home? Well, beats me still. Let's get rid of this gun, by the way. And let's also get rid of this gun. Mac 10. Really? Abyssal Tentacle? Uh, blue gun? You're gonna give me a blue gun? I mean, that's your prerogative game, but you're gonna, you know, rub me the wrong way. And if you rub me the wrong way, I'm gonna rub you back. Sorry, let me get rid of that bomb for you. Don't want these bouncing around your shop forever. So let's check out these bombs. This could be quite interesting. Also, why can't you crawl? I get that synergy every once in a while, but I can never remember what it actually does. What's your favorite gun in this game? Dude, dude. Okay, uh, gotta admit, pretty fun gun, Casey. Okay, these do not home. I can just press spacebar and blow them up. Which, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, uh, it does actually make it a little bit better, I think, because I don't have the uh, the risk anymore of just blowing myself up and creating poison under or like fire underneath me or something. Like if I have hot lead or uh, irradiated lead. You can get blown up. I don't know what heroin is doing though. Some, do some laser rifle action. If we're gonna have a secondary, it's gotta be another burst gun. I mean, mutation could be good at it, so I don't wanna fall into a pit. Bad time for Orange Guanstone. Please stop aggroing these enemies. Thanks. Thanks, Orange Guanstone. You're the best. Around. Holding heroin. Roll bombs have a larger explosion. Okay, I mean, that actually does make these roll bombs pretty damn good with the explosion as well that I can manually trigger. It might be like anti synergistic. I don't know. I have a Mac 10 synergy? Oh no, <laughs> I picked up the iBomb Companion app. I did not pick up the Mac 10, I just switched to it. <laughs> that was silly. That was silly of me. And I'm like, okay, you have a bomb, you have a bomb, and there you go. And you know what? I know it's coming. 
All right, there was not an enemy coming in the middle of the room. I don't need to get those bombs pre-created down there, although it would have been a good idea. Would have expected a little bit more damage on the bombs, but I suppose, you know, being able to kind of just stack up a couple of them and blow up enemies is kind of cool. Well, you're probably gonna aggro uh, this guy. I accidentally aggroed him actually, but you know, we did a good job. Also, have some bombs. Orange Guan Stone best item does three damage per hour. That was, um, it got buffed a long time ago. So it's actually like half decent now. I think like in one of the first major updates to the game, they buffed Orange Guan Stone, but it used to be total hot trash. It couldn't do anything. Now it's just kind of hard, hot trash. Heart trash. There's a dynamite up there. You know what? I killed two enemies with the with the bomb item. This is the floor you wanted it. You wanted to kill all the all the minelets. Some of the bomb shees as well. Pretty good at counteracting to a, a small extent the uh Got him. The, uh, the Mind Flare, because you can blow up the Claymores. This is when you want it. Uh, did we find both chests? We did. Unity! I'll take it. Also have some bombs. <laughs> I guess when the bomb touches an enemy, it also explodes. <laughs> Excuse me. One bomb is not enough to kill you guys? Excuse me? Excuse me? Dun 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 Got him. Got him. I don't know, I'm, I'm just being amused with myself for rolling, creating bombs, and trying to use those bombs to kill enemies. <laughs> oh. It's totally, like, not ineffectual, because it does work, but it's just not efficient at all. I could just shoot them and do more damage and do the damage faster. It's just funny to blow them up with a very slow rolling bomb. <laughs> I wish they were homing though, that would be much better than uh, AI assistant just pressing the spacebar to make them all explode instantly. We're still, we're still pretty good, this could be better. Uh, let's use heroin for this. Still of the opinion that you probably just want to use one uh, blank early in this fight. And we do have fire, so we can we can burn him while he's underground. Which is pretty good. This guy, he doesn't stand a chance. Honestly, I'm surprised you weren't on fire for longer. Unfortunately, I can't blow him up though. He's a cannonball, but I guess he's not explosive. Could have fooled me. Excalibur. No synergy, I sleep. Do you guys prefer Mega Hand or Heroin? Heh <laughs> one of those definitely. Um, I think I prefer Mega Hand just because it's faster. Heroin has a pretty, pretty slow rate of fire, you know? I don't know why I'm doing this because all these chests except for brown chests are gonna be locked, but I don't know, we'll break a chest, maybe get an item. We did get an item out of that green chest we just destroyed, so. 
There you go. What's exploding? Did I like dodge roll in the distance and now those shots are like slowly exploding now? I don't know. Get me out of this floor. Heron does more damage. Yeah, but it also has a longer charge. Hold on, I gotta get my water bottle. I gotta reach for it. Go, 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 go. Ah, delicious. Another reason I suppose why I like the Mega Hand more than the Heroin is that the Mega Hand can fire more shots between reloadings. Heroin can only fire six shots. And that's not that's not that bad. You know, you're probably gonna get a couple of kills in those six shots, but uh, you gotta be much more aware of your your ammo, Mega Hand. Clear a room with it and then reload it between every room. Just personal preference, really. Hold on, the bombs are going. They're going! You didn't get them! Oh, but like, my dodge roll got like two enemies? Excuse me? You have such bad luck with blank shrines, I always get like three chests with four blanks as Jackman. Maybe the game is just uh, making it easy on you. Oh, it's Jackman playing. We gotta give him some chests so we can live. <laughs> no, but you're right. I do get pretty bad luck with those freaking blank shrines. I wish I could get more items out of them. But again, I don't think I was getting anything out of those just because I didn't have the keys necessary. So honestly, I'm not that worried about it. Drywater says, I keep dying on this floor. This is a pretty tough floor. There's a lot of nasty enemies with, you know, large bullet patterns like these ice blobs. Uh, literal ice that can make it sometimes hard for you to dodge. Lots of traps. It's a pretty tough floor, all things considered. Every floor inter introduces its own assholes, and this one introduces, uh, well, I guess it doesn't introduce, but it does have, uh, right now, in the immediate nowness, big blue dogs. Blow up. Boom. You know what? Get out of here. Got him, look at that. Dun dun, dun dun dun, dun dun, dun dun dun, dun dun. Don't get him, no, this is mine. This, this kill's mine! You stupid Guanstone! What are you doing? What are you doing? I suppose I should just kind of do that and then just let all the bombs hit the ghosts as they come towards me. Like, there you go. Got him. Excuse me. I forgot I could press spacebar. <laughs> Even on this floor, we're getting pretty good value out of the uh, out of the iBomb companion app. And there it goes. Well, I mean, let's start with this. Then we'll tell, okay, you know what, I guess we... I don't need the money. I know I could keep this item and then sell it later. And then uh, come back for Lament Configurum. I'm just gonna pick up Lament Configurum. Excuse me? Heart-shaped box, we're that cursed? We have Excalibur, no wonder we're that cursed. All right, well, uh, things have changed very quickly now. This is not good enough. I like the curse seal music we have in the background. We had a room of combat and just like, no music. And it's gonna continue. <laughs> Can I just have this for the rest of the soundtrack, please? Um, all right, well, you know, it's gonna get a little tougher. 
Hey, there's an HP upgrade though. Aren't we happy to see that? Come here. You won't. Dun, 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 dun. Lord of the Jammed is the bane of my existence, says Dry Water. Uh, mine too. Make no mistake, you know, we probably did a bad thing. Why are you shooting so slowly? I thought when you were jammed, you shot very quickly. Maybe the last time I fought this guy and, uh,. I sort of bugged out his rate of fire is when I had like a freezing effect or something because if you apply freezing to enemies in turbo mode they'll they'll get their original attack speed temporarily and then it'll get affected by uh, being jammed very strange very strange very strange um we got green chests we got a green chest there got a lot of green chests I'm noticing you know what live dangerously That and also just blank everything to death, I guess. I do like, oh my God, look at all the poison. <laughs> I do like that um, LJ shots are also uh, slowed down. That's a nice little, that's a nice little thing to have. I don't want him to be super fast anymore. Slow him down. Also, at this rate, we're gonna get a lot of uses out of this item. Yoink. Oh, we're so jammed. We're getting so many jammed enemies. I love it. Don't break the chest. Don't break the chest. I was trying to press space bar. Like, that would actually break my bombs. Might break my balls, not gonna break my bombs. Got him. You know what? There you go. If in doubt, just grab a disintegrator and just go to town. Although it's not gonna shoot anything now. I, ca I stopped him in a freaking table. No. All right. Come at me, bro. I let myself on fire on this one. That's probably a bad idea. At least we have armor. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, let's see. Your bombs don't home now, I think. They didn't home before, Blexmer. I bomb companion app did not make him home. The heroin did not make him home. So I didn't really lose lose too much there. What I need is a damage up right now. If I could get a damage upgrade, that would be fantastic. Pretty much expected this to be what it was. Although no, no. We'll keep Lament Configure him for the time being. It's more fun! There's no damage ups! I guess, uh, technically speaking, removal is a small damage upgrade. We can also get another Guan Stone. Maybe we can collect the whole set here. Uh, actually, if we get that accuracy up, all of a sudden Shot Bow's pretty good. What are we going to use against... What are we going to use against the wall? I don't know. We could use the shop bow. Get that and can't quite buy that. We can buy the key and then open up another chest. That's acceptable. Polaris. A little late for it. And we have the heroin. I don't think we need Polaris on this one. We could take it though. Okay, let's also be smarter about this. Let's not make it actually impossible to do any sort of dodging. You know, let's at least leave half the space open. Why is time slow? I, I took damage? From what? 
I did not take damage game. You lie. You lie. Uh, what was I gonna use? I already forgot. Shot bow. Let's do it. The damage output is actually gonna be like not half bad. Oh right, we also have um, good value added to the dodge rolls. Thanks to uh, remote bullets. I always forget that synergy. Now I don't know if the bombs home in on the cursor. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool if they did. Oh, that's what I wanted. It's even a synergy to boot. Pandemic pistol, that's a pretty good one. This is what I wanted though. Now all of a sudden, these enemies don't stand a chance. We get our damage upgrade, folks. Damage up, 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 and add them. Also, who needs fire when you've got the power of ice? Ice, baby. I'm now also remembering that the uh, Guan Stone shot is also going to home in. You know what? It is what it is. Um, so I do want to buy the HP upgrade from the shop because it is a, uh, a Guan Stone. I think that would be funny. I think we should sell the Disintegrator. It's not a very good gun. We're going to get a lot of cash for it. I think we should also sell Polaris real quick. Powerful gun. I don't think we're going to get a lot of value out of it, though. Then we'll buy the pink Guan Stone and then we'll skedaddle our way out of here. But yeah, I wanted the, uh, I wanted the, uh, the Guan Stone for that one. Ooh. Yo, bouncing shots on this is gonna be pretty good. I know I could use my blanks, I'm not going to. Have you ever tried to use a controller? I have used a controller. I do not prefer it. I prefer keyboard and mouse. Took my headset off for a minute. It is still raining. It has been raining on and off today all day. And it's been really weird rain too. It has has been like clear skies, all of a sudden the, the, uh, the clouds unleash a torrent upon the world for like 10 minutes and then it clears up again. Very unusual rain day today. I kind of like it though. Um, we gotta We gotta deal with you faster. Still not entirely sure what hit me. I think it was the uh, the bullet of creation portal that gets summoned by this guy. Also, am I hitting like a table or something? I'm not seeing the tables. I'm not seeing things that are stopping me, but it, it must exist somewhere. That is the betrayer gun, huh? Not really looking forward to it, but we'll take it and use it for a, a few rooms anyways. Oh, we got the ammo for it. The ammo! I mean, I suppose I could just, you know, use it for this fact. That it is uh, broken, defensively speaking. <laughs> People who start with controller prefer it. Those who start with controller prefer that. I mean, that's, that's a very good point. That's just... Um, I don't know, there's probably a, a like psychological phrase for it, like Mueller's Law or something, that people are against change, even if it's for the better. I know how to play with a controller because that's what I started with, That's therefore it is the best. Or I'm the most used to it, and I, I don't like change. Change scares me. Yeah, probably uh, not a good idea to just dodge up in the middle of all this nonsense. Uh, probably also not a good idea to get rid of the shopkeepers. We're gonna leave uh, as quickly as we can. Ever gotten a remote bullet crown of guns? Yeah, dry uh, like three runs ago, I think. <laughs> so that's an, that's an easy yes.
I also like the D-pad, because then you can fire all those uh, makeshift cannon, not makeshift, but uh, mega hand shots and have them all kind of home in on one target. That's pretty nice. Da, 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 Thank you for the armor. Uh, let's quickly jump on over here. I'm not gonna go to the shop. What I am gonna do is uh, just do this. Just uh, also do this. I forgot that this gun has a whole bunch of knockback, so we should probably be using the mutation a little bit more. This seems good to me. Dun, 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 dun. I feel like it's harder to move when switching the keyboard. I mean, that's a very good, you know, true point. Technically, controller has more, uh, uh, more variability in the motion. You know, you can always uh, move in in partial steps. You can move not just in eight directions. You have more control over your movement there. But likewise, or at counterpoint, you have much more control in your aiming with keyboard and mouse. But you know what? It's one of those things where people can can play with what they prefer. There's a reason why you got the the choice, the option. You've got the power. So we're gonna do the same thing. Go over there. Maybe try to knock these enemies into a pit. Kind of didn't work because there were just too many enemies, but it uh, kind of worked. And uh, honestly, I want to go take a quick look at the shop. I think there was explosive rounds in there, and I want those. Bum, bum. Lady Era, hello, welcome. Dun, dun, dun. I want these keys, I want these explosive rounds, which I can no longer afford. We'll afford them. You know, we got the cash. We have table tech money, which is giving us a slight amount of cash. But uh, I just wanted the key first, because we're gonna find chests and I wanna be able to open them. Nice shot, kid. I didn't get hit a second time, did I? That would've been very silly. I don't think I did. What's weird is that mutation feels like it's doing a decent amount of damage. I mean, maybe it just does a decent amount of damage. Or maybe I've got some sort of a damage upgrade that's working. You know what? I got Gundromeda Strain, and I also have the uh, Unity item. So that's probably making... It's probably making our mutation do, uh, do a pretty good job right now. Could you please die? Thank you. Dude, I love just dodge rolling and making the bullets go into the enemies. That to me feels like it's working uh, better than the the remote bombs ever did. <laughs> oh. Were you able to get more than three hours of sleep? If you're talking about me, uh, yeah, I got a decent amount of sleep. Woke up very early though. I, I didn't feel tired. I don't know why I woke up, but I did. And then I went back to sleep and woke up like three hours later, but still. It's like, Brain, why are you waking up at like 6 a.m. unnecessarily? You got not, you're not doing anything today. We good? What? I forgot that you could, that, that happened, by the way. Um, we have explosive rounds. Good. Okay. <laughs> Look at that little pulse. Enough to get rid of the wick, not enough to anger the mimic. Oh, baby. Oh my lord. We destroyed that mimic. He had no idea what to expect. He got freaking nailed. <laughs> I 
I love I love just like dodge rolling and killing enemies or whatnot. It's fun. By the way, here's frost bullets. That's pretty good. You got thrown into a pit. Ah, ah, you know. Realizing, uh, probably not the best bullet item to have. Um. Okay, yeah, this is dangerous. What happens if the wick blows up on a mimic? You get no mimic. It it, it goes away. You get nothing. You lose! Good day, sir! Um, um, um. Damn ice! <laughs> Making it so I can't dodge at all. Every time I dodge roll, I just get more ice. Oh my god, more ice. Ice, ice, baby. What is love? No, wait, that's the wrong song. Every bomb, every bomb is ice bombs. This is horrible. Am I gonna keep it? Oh, absolutely, why? Because I'm dumb. I'm very dumb, okay? Oh, I just like knocked my mouse off of my mouse pad too. Okay. All right, you know, honestly, that's pretty good. <laughs> Can't complain about that one too much. Well, you know, I think I'm realizing though, this ice bomb, it is an ice bomb. It is like freezing enemies when it blows off near them, I think. Maybe it's the dodge roll that's doing it. I, I feel like the bomb is freezing enemies when it's close enough to them though. Seems to be working pretty well so far, though. That's probably gonna be our, uh, our end. For now, though, let's just keep rolling. Just keep it rolling. Why did I just stand still? I guess I was practicing. I was seeing what the bombs would do. Move! Oh, God. The ice. Ice, ice, baby. I don't know why I keep doing that. I know why I keep doing that, because I find it amusing. <laughs> That's why. Do I need any other reason to keep saying Ice Ice Baby? I don't think so. Okay, let's quickly go grab the HP and then leave. We, sh we, we should not stay here any longer than we have to. Game still lags, huh? New computer and everything? I don't think so. Take a drink. Go, go, go. Can Wirt figure out how to collect the chest behind the blacksmith without murdering him? Dark Souls 1? You just run up behind him. There's no trick to it. Okay. Lady Arrow, you had a long day? I also had a long day, but I'm excited to be playing games for you guys. Uh, let's exit this intro as quickly as possible, please. Because uh, he's coming. He is coming. Pro oh god, the ice. Every time I dodge roll, huh? Well, I mean, this is a great test to um, ensure that you don't get yourself locked in. You know, your dodges have to be uh, meaningful. There has to be a reason for you to make a dodge. Well, we're okay. Um, do I have a beam? I used to have a beam. You know what? We'll do this, then switch back. I'll keep me safe. Okay, still lots of ice. Ice. Baby. Drop the ice stuff. I do not want to drop the ice stuff. The challenge of it now is to do this with ice stuff. Oh god. I don't think we're doing this in one phase, though. 
Although we did a decent amount of damage, but I have three blanks. We still have ice stuff. Um. And you know what? I'm also uh, experiencing a pretty, pretty lucky, nice uh, distribution of those safe places in the in the bullet attacks. There you go. Dun 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 dun. Uh, let's also before we leave. See if there's anything down here we can buy. Nope. I will say we got some pretty good stuff from the uh... We got some pretty good stuff from the uh something. <laughs> I already forgot what the heck I was talking about. Um doesn't matter, let's get the heck out of here. I got good stuff. Was I gonna say I got pretty good value out of the uh, the dodge roll bullets against Dragon? I could have been saying that, I don't know. Maybe, you ever think? Where do you think the secret room is? I would like to go to the secret room. I do have two blanks remaining. Oh, jeez, well there's HP. Look, this is not a no-hit run. <laughs> <laughs> we need ammo for me. We do have ammo for the mutation. You know, we should. We actually have enough for a gun. I don't really want the sniper rifle though. I'll just take ammo for the mutation. It's pretty good. All right, there we go. There we go. We're good. I think we're finally good. Let's get the heck out of here. With LJ hot in our tail. Oh no, he perfected the dragon. Says Kainu for the win. Kainui. I did kill the dragon. Perfected the dragon while LJ and ice bombs blow up around him. Couldn't flawless trigger twins. People ask me, what's your, what's the hardest boss in the game? I keep telling him it's trigger twins. No one believes me. He's gotta be joking. Trigger twins aren't the hardest. I flawless them yesterday. It's like you guys think I don't have 2000 hours in this game or something. getting ice anymore. I guess it's probably a random thing. I feel like I should be getting more ice though. Grab some ice, ice baby. That's a pretty good ice bomb. Blow him up. Freeze him. Again, still not entirely sure why sometimes they freeze enemies and sometimes they don't. Seems a little finicky. Did I just ice that guy? No. Excuse me. Guanstone, don't aggro him. I'm trying to shoot him. Oh, ice. Ice baby. And for once, actually using the uh, the homing bullets to my advantage. I see you over there. I didn't kill you because of my homing shots, but I almost got you. Know that you are dead soon, even though you don't have a gun. I, I, I kill pacifists, okay? Heroin ice beam? Since when? Gotta say, pretty happy with the heroin ice beam form. Let's see what the tap shooting is like. I think that probably froze him. No, it didn't. That'll freeze though. That'll freeze in one shot, it looks like. But it doesn't look like the tap shoots freeze at all. Potentially. Nope. Excuse me. Thank you. There's no teleporter. 
There's normally a teleporter in this room. Kind of weird that there isn't here. You know what? I think I got a good plan. Can you tell what my plan is? Good plan. Dun 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 dun. There's too many enemies. There's too many uh, Gungers here. Magic is not this prevalent in real life. Why is it so prevalent in Gungeon? Okay, honestly, that was a pretty good bomb. <laughs> Froze that guy dead. Froze him dead. No! Oh, Ice, Ice Baby got me. There we go. Nice and easy. Why did my gun change? Nice and easy. You know what? I actually liked this idea. Let's do it again. These guys are real freaking fast. My god. Now we have more ice. I guess this is just an ice day. An ice daily here. It's, it's raining. Raining is a form of precipitation. Ice is also a form of precipitation. It's not really what I was experiencing today, though. Mostly just water. Um, you die, please? Thank you. Please don't come towards me anymore. If only I had some sort of like ice immunity, that'd be great. Ice, ice, ice. Uh oh. It's like you knew that was coming. All right, where are you, friend? You know what? No, 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 I want the ice beam. Ice beam has actually been pretty cool. The ice beam also, or the, sorry, the, um, Noisy Cricket also, like, one-shots everything. I guess it's because it's an explosive that has ice shots, so every shot's an explosive that freezes. I mean, it's kind of nice. Oh, come on. Also, the, the heroine looks really funky when it is in its ice charge form. It looks blunted at the at the back. <laughs> oh, you missed! You missed! Just use this. When you need a little bit more uh, AOE. You know what? Let's also summon uh, like four waves of enemies because I'm a fool. Uh, maybe I'm like the best though Because we froze like every enemy here. Oh Jesus. So, yeah, we're the best <laughs> Ooh. Hey. Nope. You know, I guess maybe the heroin shots will freeze they just don't freeze that reliably or that quickly I should say Do it. Freeze you. Freeze you. Find an actual enemy. Got him. I love that orange guanstone just kind of creates bullets. It creates bullets around me and I can kind of control them and choose when to use them. I find that amazing. Look at that control. Got him. Ignore the fact that I'm just sliding around on ice a whole bunch. Still got him. I still got it. Look 
do you like go away? Thank you. Don't sh oh no. I know what I know what room this is. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I can't be here anymore. What the heck was that? There was a, a shot from my orbital exploded and froze him? That's great. Maybe this is the best synergy. Explosive freezing. Randomly, everything gets frozen. You get frozen and you get frozen and everybody gets frozen. <laughs> By the way, it's boss fight time. What are we gonna use? Um, Dude, I have no freaking idea. Plague pistol? These shots don't actually bounce off of enemies. This seems like a poor idea. This also seems like a relatively poor idea. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. You know what? Fire and ice, baby, fire and ice. Now if only fire would actually affect the lich at all. Hey, LJ, get out of here. Get out of here! I need to get out of the ice, dude! Oh my god, these guan stones. <laughs> they have saved me so much damage, by the way. No item. You think we can get one more? You think we can get one more? I think we can get one more. Uh, this is not where I want to be, but somehow we didn't take damage, so I'll take it. Um, that's a lot of ice. I'm gonna hang out over here for a minute. And you know what? Why not? Say hi to my friends. Oh, I'm, I'm caught on the ice. Except now I'm not on the ice. My gun is empty. For a brief magical second, I was not on ice because I was on fire. <laughs> you know what? That was a bad time to use it because if an item dropped, I wouldn't have been able to pick it up because I forgot the bullets on my dodge roll would go straight for the dude. Oh god. Excuse me. Also, I cannot see ice here in this arena. So if there is ever any ice, um, it's gonna be awful difficult to avoid it. I think we're fine though. We have gold amulets, I'm not too worried about these guys. No items from uh, Lament Configuring, which is a shame, but hey, good run. It was a nice run. <laughs> oh. I hate ice. Too slippery. I'm pretty good at not slipping on ice, but, uh, you know, I suppose if I was in the Gungeoneer's place, I'd probably be slipping and sliding a little bit too. I'm surprised there is no, like, falling on your butt animation, though. I don't know if I'd appreciate that or would hate it. <laughs> in any case, was that triple jam lich? I didn't even pay attention to that. We got a, we got really lucky with the guan stones breaking bullets. I do like having these hard guan stones, the, the non-glass ones that don't break when you take damage, because they can break a lot of enemy bullets for you. I guess we also had Gundramina Strain. Made the boss fights much easier and faster. Was had a lot of coolness, but mm, the only item that affected that was affected by coolness was the meant configure him itself, which is I guess why we had so many charges of it when we did. In any case, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.